Yes, we are back to one of my favorite enemies ever, Dragon Ball Z. And because I love this so much, I rewatched one of the episodes and I noticed something really weird. You know, like the longest enemy fight ever between Goku and Frieza? Frieza ended up destroying Planet, Planet Namek like he did with Planet Vegeta. And since Piccolo was wished back to life beforehand, that means Kamen went back to life, meaning the Dragon Balls on Earth were brought back as well. And as a result, Mr. Popo wishes for all who were slain by Frieza and his henchmen were to be brought back to life, bringing back the Namekians, and as for the second wish, to make a planet for the Namekians because the old one was destroyed. With this, we know when you bring back the rage, you need to bring back the planet as well, if it was destroyed. But wait, look really closely into the wish that Mr. Popo made. He exactly said, all that were slain by Frieza and his henchmen to be brought back to life. Let's check back on who was killed by Frieza and his men. Of course the Z parts because they were killed by Vegeta and Nappa and they were working for Frieza at the time so they count as Frieza's henchmen so the Z parts were brought back to life. And then the Mechians were also brought back to life because they were killed by Frieza and his men when they were at Namek. But this is where things started to get crazy. Frieza was the one that killed all the Saiyans. So if it was a purple's wish brought back whoever that was killed by Frieza and his men, and Frieza killed all the Saiyans, so wouldn't that mean the Saiyans would be brought back to life? Now this is where things get really interesting. So from here on out, let's just assume that the Saiyans were brought back to life, right? We know from the wish that was made by Mr. Popo that you will have to bring back the planet as well since the planet was destroyed, the same thing with planet Vegeta, the planet was destroyed as well with all everyone that was in it. And the wish only brought back whoever that was killed by, by Frieza and his men, and that, and that wish didn't count to bring back their planet. So if they were to be brought back, they would be in a vacuum of space. So would that mean if it died a second time? Now let's look a little bit more deeper in Dragon Ball Z. Let's say Saiyans can breathe in space. It wasn't mentioned in the manga or the anime if the Saiyans can breathe in space or not. But we do see Goku and Vegeta fighting in space. And we do see Bardock in space and other Saiyans in space trying to rebel against Frieza. People say that in space but that actually is not the case. You see, in a battle of space, sound cannot travel, meaning you can't hear some of the voices they were to speak. And we can clearly hear the punches that each opponent is taking, all the words that Goku, Bardock, or anywhere else were saying, and you heard all the yelling from turning into a Super Saiyan. Meaning that Bardock, while trying to rebel against Frieza, you, you did hear him talk, so technically he would be in the atmosphere of Planet Vegeta. Meaning that they were never in space to begin with. It does make sense because Planet Vegeta is quite the massive planet which, which explains why the high gravity that it has. So it does make sense for the atmosphere to be that big for you to be far out um, over there and still be in the atmosphere. And for those who don't know, the more mass a planet has, the more gravity that it has. Meaning, since Planet Vegeta was such a massive planet, it has high gravity, which is why Vegeta or Nappa do, does mention that Planet Vegeta has a higher gravity than Earth. So Planet Vegeta is bigger than Earth, which does make sense for the huge atmosphere that it has. So when Bardock was out in so-called space, he was actually in the atmosphere, meaning that Saiyans cannot breathe in space because every fight that was supposedly in space was in the atmosphere either Earth or Namek, or Planet Vegeta. So with that now, we can conclude that Saiyans cannot breathe in space. So, when the Saiyans were brought back from, the, from Mr. Popo's wish, they most likely died a second time. So they were brought back and there was no planet to stay on, they were, let's say, brought back in the same place that Planet Vegeta was in, they would most likely die. So now we are certain that Mr. Popo brought back the Saiyan and then the Saiyan perished a second time in a vacuum of space. But there is still one um, piece of evidence that we do see in the anime. Goku and the other Z parts have wins that are after like multiple times. You'd think they'll meet at least one Saiyan in those multiple times that they've been there. 
And it's obvious that Saiyans do go to the afterlife because they do see Raditz, Vegeta, and Goku go to the afterlife. So we know Saiyans are there and do go through the same process as everyone else. So why don't we see them in the afterlife? We should at least see one. Well, that's the problem. We don't. So is it possible when they were brought back to life that they flown off to a nearby planet? Because you know, Saiyans do have extremely tough bodies, so they might be able to survive in a vacuum in space long enough to fly off to a nearby planet. So it is a possibility. So in conclusion, Saiyans, I can't. You know what? I do confirm that Saiyans were brought back to life, and I, I am exactly not certain if they are still alive now or not. Like and smash the subscribe button down below if you want to keep up with me on the channel. And if you want more goodness of mine, follow me on Twitter. The link is that will be down in the description. See you guys on Wednesday.